I'm tired, you guys. I just finished filming a video. I guess that's how I'm going to start off this vlog. Um, it's about 12 o'clock at night. And I'm tired. I was going to record a second one. But I just felt like I was pushing it. So, we're not going to do the second one. This isn't what I wore, obviously. Like, why would I wear this? But this is my nighttime dress because I'm about to take this makeup off and go to sleep and wrap up my hair. Um, before I do that, I'm gonna need to take all this makeup off, of course. So she's giving cute right now. Y'all see these baby hairs? I did the little Amore Jada baby hairs today. Real slight, real cute. Mm -hmm. And this hair, y'all, is so freaking bomb. Like, look at this hair. Yeah, get into it. Um, the video will be up by the time you guys see this vlog, of course. My nails are still going strong a whole week later. They lasted. They have a little bit of makeup on it, obviously, because I've been doing my makeup and stuff. But, yeah. Oh, I wanted to share my new favorite lip gloss with y'all. So, this is by Fenty Beauty, and it's called Hot Chocolate. If you are a deeper skin girl, honey, why do you not have this? If you've never tried Rihanna lip glosses out, honey, like, it don't really look like nothing because my lips is black as hell already. But when I get up close, you can kind of see, like, all the... I don't know if y'all can see it, but I love this lip gloss. Super cute, super bomb. Highly recommend it. I probably have to show you guys in the sun, but I don't know. Y'all let me know if it's cute. I don't know. But look at all my mess. Oh, damn. This is all my mess. I'm about to clean this stuff up. Uh, go to bed, take all this makeup off. I'm so over it, y'all. The makeup has to go. But I got my new Fenty order, so I kind of want to unbox this with y'all. So I don't know if I want to do it here or if I want to wait until the morning and then do like a morning skincare routine. But I wanted to try the all over facial remover. So here is the Fenty skin. It comes wrapped up like this and it's like in a plain box like that. So I guess people don't steal your order. So yeah, this is the first thing that I got. I got the set. So this is the Hydrovisor Fenty skin. I don't know what this is. <laughs> What does this do? You know, I don't know. It's like a whole contraption, it looks like. Oh, it's an SPF moisturizer. Okay. Then we have this right here. Oh, look at that. Mm. Excuse my little ugly scar, y'all. So, yeah, this is the Fenty Skin Fat Water Pore Refining Toner Serum. So, uh, there's that. And then, of course, last but not least, we have the Total Cleanser. This is basically supposed to take off your makeup and everything. So... Yeah, I think I might want to try this out tonight, though, to just take off all my makeup. All right, y'all. So, I'm about to take off all of this makeup. I know I look so cute, and it's like, okay, you filmed your little video for the day. It's time to take it all away. Huh. I'm trying to tell you, lashes really make all the difference. Like, I look crazy now. What happens, honey? So, this is supposed to be an all-in-one cleanser, so I'm going to wrap my hair up. Um, I'm back. I hate this lighting. I wish I could have y'all over here because I feel like the lighting is better, even though it's coming from above. I don't know, whatever. So, um, I'm about to wrap up my hair. This is a little scarf. I always get these from companies. Keep these when you find them because these are like everything for your hair. They're going to make your lace, like your lace front is going to look good for a long periodically time. So first thing I'm gonna do um, is just put my hair in a ponytail. Hello. I probably should take this thing off. It's so hard to put a ponytail with long hair. Okay, here we go. Last one around. Pull all that hair through, hunty. Boom. So now that our hair is out of the way, now I'm just gonna wrap my hair in. And all I do is just fold this in half and then just wrap it around like that. Super easy. And I will literally sleep in this thing. So I will put this on and then put my bonnet on. Just so y'all can see like, how I keep my hair nice and preserved and looking fresh for the next day. So, and plus I don't want to mess up my baby hairs 
with this cleanser, sis. Okay, so here's our cleanser. <laughs> cleanser, I hate this lighting. I just, honestly, I wanna see if this really works. So let's see what the directions say, shall we? Direction says, use day and night to remove makeup, dirt, and impurities, wet skin before into a lather, rinse for external use only, use as directed. So it literally just says to, so I just opened, oh, that's cool. I thought this top twisted off. So the product actually comes out the bottom. You have to twist it. So it's like this. It's a little thing. I just opened it by twisting it. And it has a little click sound and I guess the product just comes out of there. That's cool. I like that. So you don't have to take the top off. You don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about losing your top. You don't have to worry about all that gunk. This is gonna force you to clean this off because you know how that go. So let's see how it works. Okay. Oh. Oh. My face is wet. I'm gonna put some of this out. wash and I still have makeup on my face um, let me show you guys like it definitely broke down most of my makeup but I still have a lot of makeup on my face like around my eyes I see like right there by my chin on the side so I feel like you can definitely remove all your makeup but you definitely have to do this more than once to like get it all off so <sighs> let's try this again shall we The schedule busy, my dad in a hoodie, my shorty a goody, my cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie. Life is amazing, it is what it should be. Being pretend, but I feel like a rookie. I tell her look up, cause it's snowing in Texas. But for three years, man, you can't even book me. It's me and Lil Baby, going crazy. Weezy produced it, and Weezy have made me. And she had it done, so she got a Mercedes. No more new records, the army, the navy. It ran me 10,000, I threw it like. So, damn it. Okay. So, I don't mind this, but as far as like your eye makeup, like. Girl, it's not gonna get all your eye makeup off. Y'all see, I, I just got foundation over here. So I would still say to use a makeup wipe, but if you wanna get like majority of your makeup off, like on your overall face, you can use this. I like it cause it's like a two in one, cause you know, you can like wash your face and remove your makeup all at the same time. And you're like saving the environment, you know what I mean? By not using makeup wipes, but I still need to use a makeup wipe, so I'm about to go get mine. So yeah, now I'm just gonna grab me a makeup wipe and just remove the makeup. I mean, I got most of my makeup off, like of my face here. And my skin feels really nice, you know what I mean? But as far as like the eyes, like my eye makeup is just not. Oh, I have more. I thought I had one left, I have mine here. I don't know why I thought I just have one. Okay, whatever. So I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just wipe off my excess eye makeup. See, see what I was saying? It was like still makeup there. Okay, let me get this side. Just so y'all think I'm capping. I'm gonna do my whole face and see if any makeup comes off. More makeup right there. So, I mean, I would still get this product, but I don't know if I would use it solely for the purpose of like taking off my makeup. Because girl, I need my makeup to be off because when your makeup is not completely off and it's like, you know, all up in there, that's when you end up getting like white heads, black heads, you start having breakouts and stuff like that. So, bam, honey. What was said? Okay, that's my thoughts. So since my face is nice and clean, I'm gonna moisturize. I'm not gonna use her moisturizer right now, but I will use it later. But yeah, this is my skin right now. Looking good, feels good, feels nice. Doesn't feel like, you know like sometimes when you wash your face and it feels just like you stripped all of the moisture out of your face? Like I don't feel like that, but I feel like my skin is like super clean though. And we just had a little bit of eye makeup around the eyes, but you know. 
So now I'm going to moisturize my face. I should have just took all of this stuff out so I wouldn't have to dig deep for everything. But this was kind of an impromptu all right, got my moisturizer, y'all had to go grab my moisturizer. So this moisturizer is literally the best. Let me tell you about it. But anyway, so this is by Meebach and it's called the Sika Cream. I've been using this for like, I don't even know, some months now for sure. I don't wanna say it's completely a year yet, but it's been a minute, but I love this. It's amazing. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. And I just take like a little bit like that, do one on this side, take a little like that, on this side that was still too much you see i just wiped some off okay then i just go ahead and blend i mean rub that in i'm talking about blending in i think i'm doing makeup <laughs> and do the other side i'm gonna need a, a little more but just on my forehead area because yeah this stuff it like a little goes a long way and you'll end up putting too much thinking that you need a lot of this that's what I did when I first got it. And then I realized like, oh, you don't need all of that. And that's literally it, you guys. Boom. That is my nighttime skincare routine. <laughs> I'm just playing, I know it's not, but I just wanted to try that new Fenty cleanser and take off my makeup and everything. And just moisturize my skin, because when you wash your face, you definitely still want to moisturize. So let me tell you a little bit more about this though. I did a review on this a while ago. Um, it's like a Korean skincare routine thing. Um, so let me tell you the benefits of this product. So it calms and soothes sensitive skin. So it's perfect for people who have sensitive skin. You know, we really don't want to use things that are very harsh for our skin. So I love using sensitive skin products. So that's a plus. It's also good for aging skin. So if you are a woman who is up in age, you're aging, this is another uh, moisturizer that's good for your skin. It improves and brightens skin tone and texture. So if you have any like hyperpigmentation or anything like that, it's gonna give you an overall smooth, even skin tone. And you guys see like my skin is pretty damn good, okay? And this is the moisturizer that I use. So yeah, Meebach Sika Cream. This is what it is. Definitely a must have, so. Good morning. God, it looks so beautiful. <laughs> Let's just take this shit off. Okay, you see, boom. You see my hair though? It's not a mad at all mess. You feel what I'm saying? It survived the nights. Like, throw a little water on her and she's literally good to go. Hello. Edges, perfect. You see the rest of my hair? Perfect. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, you should sleep with a bonnet. Okay? And then we're going to unwrap her. Well, I pulled the wrong one. Unwrap her. Okay? So we can see how fresh this shit is about to be. Hello? Y'all want to see the reveal? Oh, this shit's sticking to it. Boop. You see how fresh my hair looks? Perfection. You ain't gotta do nothing. Like this right here, I could fix. You feel me? Cause it's looking a little slim. But yeah, y'all see what's going on. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, when you go to sleep at night, you wanna wrap up your edges and then put on a good old bonnet. Cause if you don't have these two things, honey, your hair is not gonna look like this when you wake up in the morning. Y'all be asking me how I have my hair looking good. And honestly, with the method, the method that I use personally, let me scoot back in my bed. But like. Look how fresh my shirt look. You know what I'm saying? Fresh and it's flat, honey. But the method that I use, it keep your hair lasting. Like you just have to make sure that you wrap your hair up. So what I mean by that is by using got to be spray and the got to be gel, those are the only two things that I use and my units will last. Like this will actually last me for hella days. You know what I mean? But people ask me like, how long does your install last or whatever? It lasts as long as you are willing to take care of it. I'm about to go to 7-Eleven right now. Uh, I'm literally going just for blends because I don't want to go later because later I'm going to have stuff to do. So I'm literally going to 7-Eleven to go get some blends. And I think I'm going to get some coffee. I have coffee here, but... I like 7-Eleven coffee. I, it's this one in particular. It's the coconut one. If you guys have never tried coconut coffee, it's so good. 
it's good it's good to me if you don't like coconuts obviously you're not gonna like it but it's so good to me but let me get the fuck up out of here because i'm just talking right now y'all y'all like bitch what coconuts put the lime in the coconut and shut the fuck up <laughs> what it do bitch <laughs> what's up can i play a game in them guys them guys oh yeah yeah and give me your number, and I call, and I follow that ass in the mall. So right now, you guys, today is Friday. Today is my friend Kelly's birthday, and she's having a, like, pajama party type of vibe or whatever for her birthday. So right now, listen, let me tell y'all what happened. So I ordered a whole look, honey. It was a look. And I'm still going to wear the look, but it just won't be today, obviously. So basically i had ordered a whole bunch of stuff from pretty little thing and it's not gonna get here until the 8th which i'm kind of like pissed off about but it is what it is so anyway i have to go right now to rainbow out of all places to go get me some pajamas because tyler said she saw some up there so i'm gonna go to 7-eleven i gotta go pick up ty i gotta give her her packages i gotta go to rainbow and then i have to go pick up packages myself then I got to come back here. I got to film a video, get ready, and then go to Kelly's house. So we got a very, very busy day today. I'm very cute and casual. Let me show y'all what I got on today, okay? But yeah, this is my little OOTD. You guys have seen these shorts before. I wore them on my Instagram before. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty much what I got on. I got on this little bralette. And that's my little outfit of the day. You know what I'm saying? Just casual running errands. I was going to um, put some lashes on, but I was like... Fuck these hoes. This is me, bitch. Hello? Okay, y'all, so. We're in Rainbow now, okay? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get this time of the night. This is what I had, guys. <laughs> this is what I had brought it back. I wasn't. This is cute, huh? I was just like, oh, I don't know if she wants to do something like that. I know she said she wanted to roll. Oh, yes. I like this one. The blue one. But the blue ones, the blue ones seem like the best ones. Okay, we got some cute options over here. Let's just take a looky loo. Wow. Let's see. Raspberry. <laughs> Why you feel like that? Raspberry. It's a medium. Tyler tried to give me a, a large, y'all. She, she ain't no good. You seen them titties, y'all. Yeah, no, that don't mean nothing. Because look, look. You got the big boobies. So That's a large? Like, that will, uh, it will rise. Hold on, let me show you what the large is. This is the large, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. If it gets any smaller than that. <laughs> the other option, y'all. I don't know. No. I love your hair. It's so cute. <laughs> uh-huh. And she did her hair all by herself, y'all. Period. Okay. Black girl magic. Black girl magic. What shoes you finna get? I don't know, because I don't have I see one five or and I see the one six. Uh, but your, your shoe size is very popular for women. A lot of people buy that size up fast. All right, y'all. So now I'm on my way back home. I just dropped Ty off at home. I'm going home right now. I got my outfit for tonight, which is perfect. But I don't know. I think I'm still going to bring like a change of clothes just because like for one, I just started my period yesterday. And yeah, it's like literally like the first two days and you know how that be so that's why i'm like and i'm wearing a dress so i don't know so i might bring like a change of clothes just so i can have something more comfortable to like you know wear but i'm about to put this curly hair in and i don't really know how i'm gonna do my hair but 
I don't know. I kind of want to play around with like some rubber bands though. Do like some little rubber band, little stuff up top and then have the back just be curly. Do something like that. Like some little curly baby hair or something in the front. Something cute. And um, yeah, that's pretty much that on that. And I'm excited about the party. So everybody gonna have their silk pajamas on or whatever. All right, so guys, so I just finished filming this video or whatever. I'm actually about to go out now. Remember, I told you I had to come here and record a video before I left. So this is a video. This is my hair. I just don't feel like my hair goes with my outfit. So I'm thinking about like changing it. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, by the way, these are lashes from my new lash collection. I'll tell you guys about these very soon. But I have really been loving these. You can wear these with or without makeup and they look amazing. So just wanted to pop through and show you guys my new lashes if you guys were wondering who they are from where i got them from and everything they're actually part of taste levels so you guys can purchase them really soon i'll tell you guys about that later but anyways i have to clean up all of my mess here and then i have to um get ready to go pretty much um and pick up tyler right now so that's what we'll be doing i will talk to you guys when i get in the car with ty <laughs>
Okay, you guys, this is what regret looks like. This was the next morning. Bitch, I woke up so drunk. <laughs> like, how do you wake up drunk? I'm talking over this because you can't hear nothing that I'm saying right here because I was talking so low. I felt like crap. I had no energy. I just felt terrible. So, yeah, I was drinking champagne, Hennessy, all type of shit. Regret, girl, regret. Every two, three. That's what they do with you. You can't live. Oh, you got a drink. That's the best one. 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 Right? Oh, yeah. 
Just put all of the ones, uh, the ones that are left around here, put them in here like to be Three pounds of churros. <laughs> Great size. But the last one. Yeah, that's why I say. Yeah, 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 yeah,
but I don't want like the courtesy follow, you know what I'm saying? But a follow is a follow. I got to be grateful for it. So this YouTuber is freaking Larasia Andrea. Yes, Larasia Andrea, you guys. One who Hopefully I'm pronouncing her name right. She goes by Red Fairy on Instagram. Uh, but I thought that was dope. Like, so that's cool. Um, and I wanted to talk about this too because I feel like when it comes to YouTube, when it comes to just being on social media in general, it could, it could be your own personal style. It could be your hair. It could be the way you do your makeup. It could be lingo, how you talk or whatever. There's going to be people out there that do what you do. Sometimes people do actually see you and they copy directly off of you. And then sometimes people might have seen somebody else do it but that person was copying you but they don't know that it originally came from you so it's just like you can't really be on defense mode like if you see somebody do something that you do because i remember when i first started off doing youtube i used to be like that like i used to get into it with people all the time because i'm like oh you stealing this from my video or you doing this that and the third and now i understand when people be like you know imitation is the highest form of flattery because it really is like even if you see somebody doing something that you're doing don't get on defense mode and like start going ham on them being like oh you stole my shit da, 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 da. because some people genuinely don't even know that they're taking it from you um and even if they are taking it from you take that as like think about it like this what if arrogant tay got mad every single time somebody copied off of his hairstyles what if he got mad every time do you know how influential arrogant tay is in the hair industry like Everybody looks to him for inspiration. And if it's not Arrogant Tay, then it's Tokyo Styles, you know, which I think that's another person I think needs to get a little bit more credit because Tokyo be out here killing the motherfucking game and people don't even know, honey. Like, that should still make you feel good. It should still make you feel like, okay, I'm doing something. I'm being noticed. People are, you know, catching on. It don't matter how they catch on. And you don't always have to get your credit. You know, people are not going to give you credit. Nobody ever really knows who originates shit, who comes up with shit. You know what I mean? Like, because I could say I came up with it, but then there'll be a girl who was doing it 14 years ago on YouTube or something. And we just don't know about her. But somebody could say I copied off of her, but I don't even know this bitch. You know what I mean? Like, anyway, I just wanted to talk about that real quick. And it's so, it amazes me, y'all. So this is the other thing I want to talk about too. Because it's like, okay... There's a lot of people that are looked at as like small, you know, insignificant. Oh, you don't have these big numbers. So who the fuck are you? You know what I mean? People think like that. That's just what it is. We are in a numbers type of world. We are in a social, we are in a social media reality where numbers matter. How many subscribers you have? How many likes? How many comments? Um, how many followers? Whatever. That shit matters to people. And people will judge you based off of that. If you have a blue check or no check, like people, that shit matters to people. Like that means that you are valuable. That means you're important to people. I bring that up to say that just because you're not super popular or you don't have a huge following does not mean that people don't see you. People will look at me and say like, oh, she only has 60,000 followers or she only has X amount of followers. Or people will look at my views and be like, oh, she only has this many views on a video. So, you know, she's not really that popular. I have quality over quantity. You know what I'm saying? There's people who follow me, people that fuck with me that are like, you know, some pretty big names. You know, you never know who's watching. Just because you don't have those big numbers, you just don't know who's watching. And not on like LaRasia or whatever, but like Slayed by Jordan. I found out Slayed by Jordan followed me, I think like a month or so ago. He like commented on one of my videos and like he watches my vlogs and stuff and he'll like comment on my videos. And I was like so surprised. I didn't think somebody on his level with his following would even see my videos, would watch me, would know who I am or even fuck with me like that. You know what I mean? Another YouTuber who recently followed me is Miss Diane Tucker. Like, oh my God, I was like, what the fuck? She follows me? She followed me on Instagram like recently too. And I was just like, oh shit, Miss Diane Tucker. Like I've seen her videos on YouTube too. Um, Like I used to watch, um, she used to do like AliExpress hauls and stuff like that. 
um and i used to watch those videos and i just remember her and her lips the thing that i remember so if you're watching this diane the thing that i remember most about you was your lip liner and your lips like you have the best lip combo like your lips always be popping oh and by the way she has a lip gloss collection you guys should check out i think it's called her Lux. I don't know. You guys follow Miss Diane Tucker. Um, look at look her up on Instagram. Look her up here on YouTube. But I just think it's so dope that I just have all of these amazing YouTubers that are following me now. And it just lets me know I'm moving in the right direction and I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. It's super fucking cool just to know these people are like following me. But my point is, is that no matter what level you're at, perform 100% because you never know who's watching. Another perfect example, there's two young designers that I follow on Instagram. There are two young black designers on top of that. We're all around the same like age range or whatever. They don't work together, but they are friends. But they've been at it for a minute and it's just so dope to see them grow. Like their collection, you know, they don't have like a huge following, like a million followers and all this other shit. They have like, you know, cool like 30,000, 20,000 followers, like around that range. So one of the girls has had Cardi B rocking her shit and she's been knighted for a minute like and Cardi B is huge you get what I'm saying and these are young up-and-coming designers like not a lot of people know who they are but they have you know a cool little following and they're doing very good for themselves but if you were to look at them you'd be like oh okay like that's just like a little whatever little Instagram boutique or whatever but these are like actual designers who are coming up with these ideas like one of the girls pretty little things stole her design Pretty little things to her design. She's a smaller designer. That's what I mean. You don't know who's watching you. Just because you're small, it does not mean that you're insignificant. You, get, you know what I mean? Like, just value yourself and your level, whatever level it is. But yeah, you guys. So, I just wanted to talk about that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, don't forget to thumbs this video up. Let me know you like these vlogs by commenting down below, too. Let me know you love the vlog. Tell me what your favorite part about the vlog was. And I will see all you beautiful people in my next one. Bye.